All right, guys, we're back with a banger of a video. And today, man, am I looking forward to this one. Pick this baby up in Morrison's. Crackling pork belly, not just any crackling pork belly, gourmet crackling pork belly. This set me back seven pounds, so it had better be bloody good. Anyway, listen to how awesome this sounds. So it's slow cooked crackling pork belly with apple and rosemary jus. J U S, I don't know. I don't know what the hell jus is. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But that's what we'll go with. Uh, premium pork belly, slow cooked to perfection, finished with deliciously crisp crackling and served with a rich and fruity apple and rosemary flavored jus. Come on now, that does sound good, doesn't it? So apparently it's like an hour to cook in the oven. Uh, I'm gonna bang it in the sage, so hopefully it goes a bit quicker. And then there should also be a sachet in the box that has the sauce in, which you have to do on the stove for a couple of minutes, like three to five minutes. So I'm very keen to see, oh, let's get this open, what we get in the box. Okay, there's the apple sauce. And there is the pork belly. With the crackling on top. So that's what you get in the in the box. I guess there's not much else to do except for me to get get to cooking and uh, be back in an hour to see how good this is. I'll catch you guys when it's ready for some eating. Okay, so having properly read the cooking instructions. Apparently what I'm supposed to do is um, empty this onto a baking tray. And I only have this really small one, so it's going to have to do. Let's get all these juices out. Oh, it's jello. That's what we're getting out of that. Now apparently, I need to pat this dry, the rind, like so. That's going to be as dry as it gets. All right, and then sprinkle a little bit of salt on it. Now it just has to stand for 10 minutes it has to stand for 10 minutes then you pop a little bit more salt on it and then it goes in the in the oven or in this case the sage so I'll get back to you guys when it's cooked oh we got the goods boys we got the goods fresh out the oven have a look at that That's looking good, isn't it? Ooh, okay. So that needs to stand uh, for five minutes. And while that is standing, I need to get this onto a medium heat uh, hob. So let me get this done. I'll get back to you when it's time for eating. We have our um, just whatever it's called. We're going to pour over the meat and we just need some, uh, just need some veggies to round it off. So let's see if we can uh, cut this. Um, not 100% sure what I will need. Because apparently it did say. Oh, stuck to the bottom. That ain't good. Come on. Okay. Now it's no longer stuck to the bottom. 
Let's see if we can cut this open. Right. How do we get a hold of this so it doesn't go all over the place? There's the inside of our pork. And let's get that up on the plate. <laughs> right, all that's left to do is uh, eat, I guess. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, it's a nice looking piece of meat. Holy, let's get this on the deck. There she is. All right, guys, this is looking, this is looking supreme. That, <laughs> I can't wait to dig into that and give it a try. That is looking supreme. Firstly, let's try get a, that's what the inside of it looks like. Right there, let's get a look at the outside. And it's sounding kind of crispy. It's like not too crispy over here, but let's just get a taste of it. Let's see what this tastes like. Mmm. My word, that is some good pork belly right there. Okay, so let's um, let's get uh, let's get some of the sauce poured over it and see what the sauce is all about. Got to keep some of the sauce behind for the other half that's in the, the oven. Mm. Oh, that's quite a nice sauce. What was that again? Apple and rosemary. Oh, that is quite nice. Right, let's try some of this meat with the, with the apple and rosemary sauce. Mm. Guys, I can't, I can't, that is some nice, that is some nice tender pork right there. Perfectly cooked. Bit of the crunch on the outside. Right, let's try a bit of the pork rind. The rind hasn't crisped up as, as much as I would like, to be honest. It does taste glorious though. Oh my word. That is spectacular. Wow. That is definitely some good um, pork belly right there. That is beautiful. It was seven pounds at Morrison's. It's, um, I wouldn't mind more, to be honest. And the, the crackling 
didn't crackle too nicely. It, it's not as crisp as it could be. But, oh, it does taste delicious. It does taste delicious. I'll give it that much. Let me actually try potato with some of the... Oh, that apple and rosemary sauce is nice. It is nice, the apple and rosemary sauce. So yeah, seven pounds serves too. Um, does come from the gourmet, gourmet range, so it's not gonna be like a regular thing on the menu for me. This would be a, a treat on a rare occasion. Beautiful piece of pork, really is good. Would have been nice if the, if the rind had have crackled properly, but it didn't, such as life. Still very flavorful. Oh, definitely worth trying, definitely worth trying. It's just a bit on the steep side. It does say it serves too, it would be nice to get a bigger piece of meat for seven pounds, but overall, I'm impressed, it does, it does taste damn good. Anyway, guys, with that said, if you're still hungry, check out this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.